Dear viewers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Tula with another new video, Tecla Dates 2019. Actually, this is a super, super good software for civil engineers and uh, to create assignment to design a beam within a second or within a, a minute uh, by using some simple text. Also, okay, uh, so in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll design our beam easily. Okay, so if I click here, in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll design a simply supported beam. To design a simply supported beam, I'll just click uh, here. I will use US code for first session, and for our second session, I will use another code to design. So I'll simply click on new and I'll just go here concrete. And here, I'll just go RCC beam analysis and design. So I'll just click here. And after that, I'll just click here, RCC beam analysis and design. So I'll just click here. And I'll after that click here continue. And wait for some time. So here, first of all, we'll um, design a simply supported beam. To design that, I'll click here in design option. Okay, I'll just click here in design option here. So in which way we'll provide reinforcement? Okay, so here the standard way to provide re reinforcement, you know that. So uh, I'll just use that option to design our section. Okay, and here I will use design code. You can use any design code from here. And where the position of share check, it will uh, position of share check will be uh, D from support as per design code, or you can use D mm, at support. Okay, or at D from support, it's up to you. So I'll just use at support and here yeah, include minimum thickness and everything is okay. Of all you can change that if you need that. Uh, for simply supported beam, we know that no reinforcement required in top. So we can use that option and for bottom we'll use that option. Okay. So I'll just click OK. So here after that I'll just go for materials details. So, uh, what is the concrete uh, compressive strength? I'll just use 3000 and for a reinforcement, I will use 60 grade or 60,000 PSA. And this is normal weight and the unit weight is 150 PSF. So, okay. After that, beam details here. What will be the uh, clear cover 1.5, 1.5, 1.5? That's okay. So, okay also. When it's done, we'll go before going here. I'll just go for the geometry okay for geometry consider that here uh, it's uh, showing us length uh, 20 feet so i'll use a mm, 18 feet slab i mean uh, sorry eight, uh, 18 feet beam okay 18 feet b and here the size is what will be the size i'll just edit here i'll just edit that size like or from here we can change that 10 into 18 because uh, this is a thumb rules that um, will use depth will use depth with respect to our with respect to our um, span length okay so here okay so here okay after that I'll just close and here it's done and here if you see uh on in will be pinned and another will be roller okay roller pin actually so here this is the roller pin so it's done okay uh and the member name this is beam and angle if you have angle then you can provide here so i'll just click okay for simply supported beam and here it's okay after that i'll go for loading so uh from here they have three types of load self weight dead load and live load okay self weight dead load and live load so uh self weight and dead load means super dead load or uh, load from slab it can be dead load so from here uh which types of load we want to provide dead load uvl trapezoidal point load or just it's up to you which types of load so here 
I will use U B L. So for beam and for dead load, so I'll just provide uh, total dead load zero point. Sorry. Uh, it will be one end will be at one and our load here the load will be i'll consider zero point um five six seven keep zero point five six seven keep here keep perfect okay and i'll not consider any i'll just uncheck here uncheck here and i'll not consider any live load and if you need to consider live load just simply click here live load and here select and from here select the live load and give here the live load so i'm i'm not going to use any live load so here i'll just give zero live load zero and if you have any load you can give here so i'll just a uh, simply analysis and design a beam so not consider live load so after that you can go here uh, combination so here is the combination for service and for uh, this is for a strength and this is for service okay is for service and uh, quasi non then I'll just click okay so and here obviously I'll click here to show our result to show our previous level uh, previous uh, average I'll just click okay close so when everything is okay and here you can see the output option here which what will uh, output okay moment on share by combination table a sketch deflection a sketch nodal deflection total base reaction okay everything you can take from here deflection envelope uh, total uh, deflection reaction uh, here reaction and inverse everything you can take as per requirement okay output full details include uh, section sketch include summary table here design uh, preview uh, for design preview actually it's up to you i'll just click upload okay upload then okay so when our everything is okay right uh, when our everything is okay now i'll just go here i'll just go here so i'll simply click here and here we can see that this is the value okay uh, simply if i click here so here you can see that moment diagram here it's showing moment diagram and if i uncheck and if i click here share this is shared diagram so you know that our share will be top and go down okay so this is both if i click here it will show both share and moment diagram like that and here one thing we are seeing that for top reinforcement plus we know that in simply separate beam no reinforcement requirement in top so top reinforcement uh, we have provided some reinforcement i will just modify that so here and also shared reinforcement is not okay except any other value is okay because minimum thickness atho and actual is atho so i'll just simply click here For our reinforcement so if i see here uh we're for bar six so i'll change that bar size in four here also four here also four so here two bar everywhere and also here i'll use number four bar number four bar okay and i'll see that option here also so see uh, in top no requirement but we have provided it's okay and for bottom it's not okay so what we can do that if we use our number three bar in bottom now it's okay now it's easily okay number three bar number four three bar so i'll just click okay now see for uh, middle it's not okay so i'll just go here it's too close um, as we have provided three bar in left side and also in right side three bar that's why they have three plus more extra two for our middle zone for extra bar so what we'll do actually for middle bar i will just provide 
zero bar i will not provide any bar here so it's okay now because the required is 0 0.537 i'll not provide an extra bar so three bar is okay so here 0 0.589 so i'll simply click okay and wait for some time just see it's okay it's absolutely okay and our um it's also okay also okay and for that zone and to see something for top it's okay for that zone and to see for top it's okay so it's absolutely okay and if i click okay now see what is the utilization ratio so we are seeing that our utilization ratio that is absolutely fine 0 0.9 on um i would recommend you to use that util utilization ratio less than 0 0.8 it's it will be okay okay so for safety actually and uh, also we have provided huge safety factor um, if we don't provide any safety factor then it will be also okay but here we're seeing that for our share reinforcement it's not okay so i'll just go here and for that i'll just go share design and here we are seeing that our minimum spacing required 7.875 but we have provided 12 inch so it's not okay and also i'll use a strip as a number three bar also for middle three bar and also here three bar in middle zone we're seeing that no strap is required so if we provide zero also that's okay so in middle i'll provide 12. it's okay because uh, inside it's take huge share and uh, in middle the nominal share or sh uh, share uh, resisting share by concrete that is enough so here if i provide eight also number four bar not four in C center to center if we provide eight so it's not again so if we provide six and also here if i provide six maybe it will be okay so now it's okay and also we can increase that our dead zone will be 30 percent now see uh, record that provided and also this side is 30 percent okay this is the 30 percent 30 percent and now if i go for eight now see is it okay or not uh 7.9 so if i go for that side in 15 percent no that side okay it's okay 25 percent by 25 percent that is okay with six cents center to center so and also if we put seven maybe that will be okay and seven for six and when uh, that side is okay with seven then that side is okay with six so I'll just give it seven for over safety and here two legs okay how much like two legs and uh, for middle that's 12 so I can give a 10 because at middle not record okay so here okay and I'll just click okay and see every take are okay here every take are okay and uh, after that i'll just simply click at finish okay i'll simply click here finish for a report and it will generate a report so see here is a report here is our report and everything is available here share deflection bending moment check yeah, the deflection for serviceability here and this is the reinforcement diagram and uh, also this is the detailing full detailing okay so here the reinforcement are little close i mean and very close but here a little bit far and if i zoom it a little bit now see what happened now see uh, here we're seeing the for two leg into 
number 3 at the rate of 7 inch center to center from that point to that point 54 inch and from that point to that point our number of two legs to number three ten in center to center and here we're seeing uh, this is for stir up okay this is for stir up and if I go top this is the bar number two into four bar two into four bar two into four bar and that's okay so in this way we were able to design a simply supported beam easily so thank you thank you very much let's still stay connected till next video and if you think that it was helpful for you obviously subscribe to our channel and also press the like button and don't forget to leave a comment because your support inspires us for the next word so thank you thank you very much let's still stay connected till next video